Hello there and welcome to the training session. Let's say we're interested in locating phone calls made at a particular point in time. The most powerful search tool in the software is called the visual search. You'll find it under the analyze tab. The visual search enables us to find single entities or pairs of linked entities with conditions in one go. In this chart, I've structured my telecoms data with phone entity types and telephone call links between them. Therefore, I'll run a linked entity search. I'm going to define the link by selecting it. I'll choose the link type, telephone call. I've stored the dates and times for each call on the links. I'd like to find all telephone calls that occurred between January and June 2020. As I have stored date and time in the date and time properties area of the link, I can very quickly transform the results into a timeline chart. Up here in the quick access toolbar, I have the option to copy to a new timeline chart. We can note that a layout has been applied for us. This is the grouped theme line layout. The layout clusters theme lines together and reduces the extent of each one depending on when the first and the last link is. Let's quickly change the display of our links. Under select, we have accelerator tools that will enable us to do this. Item type, telephone call. Under style, I can control what's displayed on my links. I'm going to switch off the label and then switch on date and time. Let's take a closer look at those dates and times. I'd like to simplify what's displayed by summarizing by day and hour. To do this, I can create my own date and time formats in chart properties. Right mouse click, edit chart properties. Under definitions, we have the option to control and define date and time formats. These are the formats that come with the software. We'll create our own. The format will be three lowercase d's, followed by a space, capital H, speech mark, H R S, close speech mark. The speech marks enable us to add text as a suffix, for example. Here's a sample of what the date and time will look like when it's displayed using this format. Now I'm going to tell the software that I want to use this date and time format. I'll head up to select, choose item type and telephone call to select my links. Right mouse clicking on a selected item combine properties. Display, displayed date and time format. And there's the one I created, example. There's our summary of the day and the hour that the call occurred, which is particularly helpful for our audience. To arrange the charts, let's take a look at some of the timeline layouts. Layouts can be particularly valuable on large analytical charts to help visually identify peaks, gaps and patterns in your temporal data. 
They're also helpful in small presentation charts to emphasise patterns in a time period. One example being the grouped by time layout. Within layout setup, I can show you that the grouped by time layout has been set up to group items within one week periods and separate them by four centimetres. Some of the link labels on this chart are overlapping, which isn't great for presentation purposes. Because my links are selected, I can go back up to Arrange and use the Arrange Link Labels option. Alternatively, I can hold down the Alt key and manually move link labels as required. We can quickly format the chart to emphasise particular calls and phones. Let's pick these three phones. Similarly, say we're interested in the four phone calls towards the end of the period. Conditional formatting will emphasise these for us. Under Style, Conditional Formatting and the Conditional Formatting pane. We have a number of specifications, some that come with the software but we can add various different styles to our chart items by creating our own. I'm going to use the specification Enlarge the selected icons and links. There we go. Let's say we want to further group key elements of chart data together. We can do so by adding boxes under Home, Insert from Palette, by default, the icon representation is selected. The fourth option in are boxes. In the drop down palette, we have colours. Let's choose silver. I'm going to drag and draw a box. I'll switch the label off. And I can increase the width to say three. This box is to group the first three phone calls over here. To give us some more room, I'm going to zoom out, select the first three theme lines and just move them over to the left hand side. Now I'll drag the box around the calls. Let's say in a similar fashion we want to add a couple more boxes. By keeping it selected, holding down Ctrl and D, I can duplicate it. We'll resize them slightly. And so that they're in line, I'll select all three. Under Arrange, I can use the Align Horizontally tool. For further emphasis on timeline charts, we can adjust our theme line segments. I'll double click, edit item properties and under style we have the option to adjust the segments. By selecting all, I can change the colour of all segments for this particular theme line to say green. Alternatively, we can just change part of a segment such as segment 5 to red, as well as the strength from confirmed to say unconfirmed. We hope you're finding the IT user group event and these sessions useful.